How to Boost as a Red Hive in Bee Swarm Simulator Hello beekeepers and welcome back to another guide video. Today you will learn how to boost, so watch until the end to discover each step. I don't want to interrupt you in the middle of the main topic, so I want those who are not subscribed and are new to subscribe to this channel and everyone to press the like button for more videos with information like this. We all know that in a boost we have a beginning, a middle and an end. So, we need to know the following things. 1. How to start a boost. 2. How do we proceed in boost. 3. How to finish a boost. We stop thinking and get down to business. How to start a boost. 1. Nectars. You will need nectar because this is the main source that boosts your honey. You must have the following nectars. Invigorating nectar is the main one you must have. Refreshing is in second place. Satisfying nectar the third. Comforting and motivating are optional in case you can't afford all the nectars. But all five nectaries together have a huge potential compared to three nectars. 2. Materials for extra buffs. You need a lot of materials to boost the pollen rate per second. These being the following. Sprinkler Builder and this being Supreme Saturator. Gumdrops for bonus honey. Coconuts that convert part of your backpack into honey tokens in case your backpack is full and you won't be able to spawn tokens from bees. Stingers for star saw. Micro Converters. Field Dices which are of three types. Field Dice, Smooth Dice and Loaded Dice. For a big boost, the Loaded Dice is recommended. You need Jelly Beans. Glitter, Purple Potion or Super Smoothie. In addition to the Purple Potion, you also need an Oil, Enzymes and Tropical Drink. Super Smoothie contains many buffs and I recommend it. Try not to use it so that you lose it for nothing, because this is a rare item. If you happen to have a marshmallow bee in your inventory, use it. This will help you with backpack capacity. Cloud vials are important and I will tell you how to use them later. 3. Field Winds The main factor that produces field winds is precisely the wind shrine. You will need one purple potion for the donation. Purple potion is the most common item used as red hive, because red fields are almost guaranteed from it. This will drop you field winds which will give you some important buffs. A field wind will give you percentages of instant conversion and pollen in the respective field. Defeat the Mondo Chick to get the Mondo Blessing buff before donating to Field Winds. Try to get the Balloon Blessing that you can get from the ability of the Buoyant Bee with the help of the secondary account and you can drop balloons from the inventory. All this must be done before the boost. 4. Secondary Account with Fuzzy Bee or a Friend Just like the Nectares, the Fuzzy Bee account is very important before starting the boost and inside the boost. This will help you with the field in which you want to boost. It will help the growth of flowers, which will affect the number of pollen per second. How much does this Fuzzy Bee account help you? Not only does it help you grow flowers, it can spawn another Supreme Saturator and drop jelly beans or gumdrops that will help you a lot. 5. The Energy of Bees Before starting the boost, reset your character two times. In this way, your bees will regain all their energy, being able to endure for a longer period of time and boost. Try to have as much polar power as possible, because it will help the bees to increase their energy capacity and it will also help you with the planters, increasing their growth speed. How do we proceed in boost? We learned how to start a boost and what we need to have. Now we will learn how to proceed in a boost, what we must do to increase our knowledge and honey production. The field must already be prepared with two supreme saturators and fuzzy bees. The first time we drop a glitter and wait 15 seconds before dropping the loaded dice. In the meantime, drop jelly beans to your secondary account or your friend who helps you boost to get the jelly bean blessing. You will need to drop the jelly beans one more time. After the 15 seconds have passed, we start and drop loaded dice until we drop the respective field. You should receive the field quickly because we dropped the glitter earlier which helps the loaded dice to have more drop chances for the field we are in. We use the super smoothie. Use your marshmallow bee if you have one and you think the boost will be successful. Don't drop cloud vials from now because we don't have buffs like focus, red boost, precision or others yet. Try to drop cloud vials close to the scorching star. Drop jelly beans to the secondary account again to get more minutes for the jelly bean blessing. Activate your gumdrops. Try to make your precision stack from now on, because the first scorching star will approach. After you have made your stack of focus and precision, try to make your stack of red boost tokens. Try not to use stingers or micro converters yet. You can convert your backpack with the purple targets from precise bees. Thus, it will convert the pollen into honey and at the same time you can maintain your focus, red boost and precision stacks.
At the same time, with the help of the purple targets, you can spawn precise marks that stack three times like the other mark token. Scorching Star will get close very quickly doing this. Also before the Scorching Star passive, try to have the Star Saw ready. Activate two stingers during the process of spawning a Scorching, thus saving part of the stingers. Now drop your Cloud Vials. Since the Scorching Star has spawned, we activate Star Saw and we are no longer allowed to step on the purple target. If we step on the purple targets during a Scorching Star, we will lose the Flame Heat stack. At the same time, with the disappearance of flame heat, we will lose a lot of honey. During a scorching star, try to step on all the targets and don't get hit by them. This way you can maintain your precision and focus stack. But, be careful with the red boost stack because you don't really have many sources that can drop it directly, so you will risk losing an important buff. When this buff is about to disappear, step on a purple target but don't get hit by it. Whenever you have Scorching Star active, try to drop Jelly Beans. Now only you can collect them since you have Jelly Bean Blessing active. Activate the Micro Converters only in difficult situations. In case you forget to convert your backpack into purple targets and the bees are about to stop spawning tokens, you can activate a Micro Converter. These things must be repeated every time during the entire boost. 3. How to finish a boost a boost can last for 15 minutes but can be extended by doing certain things. If you want to continue the boost, you must make sure that the X4 field boost will not disappear. And you do this by dropping a glitter. The buff timer will reset and start again from 15 minutes and it will be X4. Continue the boost by doing the same things as in the first part. Here you can use a purple potion considering that super smoothie is rare. In addition to this, you also activate an oil, enzymes and tropical drink. If you feel tired and feel that you can no longer continue as in the first part, I advise you to try to save resources for the next boost. You can treat the second part of the boost with less confidence because you will make many more mistakes than in the first part of the boost. To cheer up everyone who doesn't have confidence in themselves, I made a lot of mistakes considering that I have been playing Bee Swarm Simulator for a long time. In order to reach a good result, you have to learn from mistakes. The best result comes with experience, and you gain experience from mistakes, that is, from many boosts. Surely, some of you will be depressed by the result of the boost. We don't have to blame anything or anyone. The best progress comes with practice. That's why it's called progress. Well, today we have learned how to prepare and how to make a correct Red Hive boost in Bee Swarm Simulator. I would like everyone who has watched this far to subscribe to this channel and like the video. Let's get 500 likes on this episode. It was me Zap Player, your favorite troll. Stay safe, stay strong and stay cool. Bye.